Hula hooping was a childhood staple, but like all of us, it's grown up, and guess what? Put on some pounds. Well, here to teach us the wonders of a weighted hula hoop workout is program director of Bring the Hoopla, Sarah Murphy. Welcome to the show, Sarah. Thank you. So you're a professional hula hooper. I'm a professional hula hooper. I've been hooping for 10 years. Wow. So how can a weighted hula hoop help your exercise routine and, and your fitness goals? Well, one of the biggest misconceptions of hula hooping is that you want to start with a light, small hula hoop. But a bigger, heavy hoop is actually going to create more momentum as it rotates around you. So at Bring the Hoop Low, we make our hoop swing about one to three pounds in a variety of five sizes. And then um, usually at a beginner, I'd want to start at about 36, 38, or 40 inches in diameter. So you okay. something around your belly button. Okay. Wow, this is really And I never thought about it as exercise, so I love that. You know, that's <laughs> hula hooping as exercise. <laughs> yeah, it's a fun fitness cardio, and it's really good for the core. Yeah. Excellent. Awesome. Well, Sarah, I want to see yeah. your stuff. You're going to teach so, me how to hula hoop so because let's, I'm ready. let's give it a whirl. Okay, so you want to start with your hoop right against your back. Okay. And you're actually going to put one foot in front of the other. Another really common misconception is that you actually move your body in a circle, but yeah. you're going to move forward and back forward and push and from your belly button. Okay. Make sure your hoop is nice and horizontal. You're going to give it a big spin, and you're just going to give it a big push. Great job. And then keep that steady rhythm. Don't forget to breathe. I was and good. I was good for about two seconds. Don't worry. If your hoop falls to the ground, don't sweat it. Just get it. Pick it back up and try again. Because even when it falls to the ground, you can pick it up and you're still burning calories oh. picking it up and getting back up. This you're is not good. again. Uh, you're, you're too good. I'm too intimidated. Get a lot by of practice. By your hula hooping. Look at you go, Jen. This is not easy, by the way. Woo. Just remember to breathe. <laughs> I'm breathing. Effortless. Very good. So it is, it's back and forth like that. Yes, you can also move your hips side to side, but the only thing you don't want to do is really move in a circle because the hoop is already a circle shape. So I you think just that's what I was doing. Momentum. Yeah. I think that's I, why. I, I'm I, sure that's what it was. <laughs> whatever it was didn't work. <laughs> you just got to practice. Okay. The more you practice, the more you progress. Gotcha. You can use this hoop to actually work more than just your core, right? Absolutely. So there's a lot of things you can do with your hoop off of your body. Um, quite a few fun, Woo! easy ones that you can learn along the way. But one that I like to teach right away is called Around the World. Starting holding your hoop with your knuckles facing up, you just release the hoop from one hand, bring it around behind you, and rotate around and around. And this is going to work your forearms, really open up your back flexibility. Yeah, oh, good. Yeah. And it's like a little stretch. Hand eye coordination. Wonderful. You got this one. You can add more movement by turning. And as you get more Can advanced, you might be able to bring it up. It doesn't work quite like a frisbee. It won't come okay. back. <laughs> I love that. So, Sarah, tell us, what are, what are some of the other benefits of hula hooping, especially well, weighted? The American Heart Society actually recommends 15 minutes of hooping a day for heart health. It can really promote flexibility and promote balance as well. If you look up the information, you can find that people are using it for PT and rehabilitation as well. Um, there's a lot of information all over the internet, but it's best to consult your doctor before you get too involved with a very heavy hoop. Yeah. And have some fun with it. Absolutely. That's have the most important Have some fun part. and your body, body will be your best friend. So, <laughs> I know you're the pro. Show us your stuff. Show us some advanced yes. hula hoop. Let's see. <laughs> all right. I think I can do that for you. Whoa. That's awesome. What? Oh, my gosh. Whoa. <laughs> you know what, Sarah? I'm going to practice at home, and uh, maybe we'll have you back, and I'll look a little bit better <laughs> next time, okay? Thanks for giving us the hoop scoop. And for more information on weighted hoops and bring the hoopla, go to our website at thedoctorstv.com.